course, mean Christmas presents become more expensive. Here's our business correspondent, Joe Lynham. For some, at least, Christmas shopping has begun in earnest. But the value of the pound in their pockets has been falling dramatically. Last July, a pound was worth two American dollars. Now it's only 147, a fall of more than a quarter. And there's talk of a run on sterling, which could push its value down even further as the financial crisis scares off investors. Close to 100 billion pounds had actually left the country in September and October. And that wasn't because the government was borrowing, that's because its uh, international investors are worried about the creditworthiness of the British financial system. Investors are also worried that the government's borrowing too much money to prop up the economy. And currency traders are also forcing sterling downwards. They're betting that interest rates here are going to continue to fall and quickly in the coming months. You won't feel the impact of a falling pound in your spending power straight away, but many of the products in stores like these are imported, and that means they're bought with foreign currency. So in the coming weeks and months, those prices could start going up, or indeed the retailers may decide to stop importing them altogether. So popular gifts such as iPods might soon start costing more. So too could stocking fillers like watches or personal gifts such as jewellery. We are a consuming society. Uh, we've, we've relied very, very heavily on the, on the consumer and retail spending. That's what's given us the growth we've had over the last 10 years. That's about to dissipate. Uh, but it's going to cost those of us who go and buy a lot more. Rarely has so much value been wiped off one of the world's top four currencies. But if this run continues on the pound, then the repercussions will be sorely felt, both at home and abroad. Joe Lynham, BBC News.